So, in our last session, practice session, we have seen uh, something like this. We were creating a table using this. Harish, and if I put the addresses, I was getting the uh, it displayed in the table below. Okay, let me add more like Rajesh, let's say Chennai. It is getting added and more. Let's say Raju, Pune. I'm able to add the students okay now i can even if i don't want any one of them i can delete it okay so this was working fine but we need some more functionality here let's say i by mistake i put this as chennai maybe this should be mumbai then how do i change this so for that we need one edit option here along with the delete button we need one edit button so by clicking that edit button i should be able to change the data of the table. So this table, actually I'm not changing the data of the table, but is the data coming from? It is coming from the array, okay? So from, so I need to change the data in the array. So how do I do that, okay? So let's first put a the, put an edit button there, then we'll think what functionality we need for that, okay? So I'll add one th here and here, I'll just copy this same button and paste it below here instead of danger let me put it as warning and instead of delete student i'll put edit student edit student and it will pass the index okay and here instead of delete i'll write edit okay now now let me write the functionality for it so after delete student we'll have one edit student but uh, functional. So this in this method we have to write what we need to do. So what I want to do is when I so let me save this and see how it is looking like. So what it is saying edit student by okay I did one mistake here. Here I need to specify the that I am taking one argument the index. So okay, fine. Now let me uh, create a so Harish and Hyderabad. So when I add it, I'm getting one edit button here. Okay. Now, now what should happen? Um, so I add one more person. Let's say Raju and uh, Pune. Okay. Now, now when I click on edit, uh, suppose I want to change this in this Harish. What I have written is I have written H Y D, but I want to write full. And that is, I want to write Hyderabad, the whole spelling of Hyderabad, H Y D E R A B A D. So I want to edit this. So when I click on edit, what should happen is both data, Harish and Hyderabad, should come here. So here Harish should be written, here Hyderabad should be, H Y D should be written. Okay. And then I'll change it instead of H Y D, I'll write what I want. And then I want another button here that is. Add student will add the student, isn't it? That is different. But I want to save the student. So I will have one more button that is called save student. Okay. So let me do that first. Let me add a save student button. So along with the add student button, I'll have a save student button. Save student. BTN primary, I'll change the color BTN info. And uh, instead of add student, I'll have another uh method called the save student okay so here after the edit student i'll have one save student method okay fine now let's see hmm, this is what i wanted but initially the i don't need the save student so initially the save student button should be hidden okay so let's say i wrote harish and hyd and add student at this moment first what will happen so initially only add student button will be there okay now no save student should be shown okay when i click on edit what should happen is harish should come here at the top and hyd should come here okay after it goes there immediately 
the add student button should be hidden and save student should be shown. Okay. So uh, before showing and hiding, let me write the functionality for uh, moving these values to the top. Okay. Whatever values are here in the table, wherever I am adding edit, that data should come to the input fields. Okay. So that is possible using the because we already have the ng model ng model is binded with the values so we can do that so let me do that first so when i click on the edit button edit student button what will happen uh, we have the index isn't it so what i need to do is that particular index value i need to send it to the these two things what are the ng models binded ng model is binded to these two values student name and address okay so let me do that so what i need to do is this dot student name this dot student name is equal to this dot student soft index dot student name student name okay this is what is coming from the object and in the same way this dot uh, address which is the second uh, ng model uh, binding this dot address should be equal to this dot student soft index dot student address whatever is inside the object okay like this so what is happening here whenever i am clicking on the edit button that particular index is passed to this method and uh, a student name that is the ng model value which is binded here the first input field we can change the first input field by using this property but if you change here it will change the input box as well because it is a two-way data bind okay so when i change this so how do i change this i'm writing here this of the name is equal to this dot students of index dot student name that name okay same from the same index value i am passing the student address to this address which is this the next input field okay this way i am able to change the uh, input field value so let's see this so let me write something now don't think about the save student button we'll see that later on so let's say harish i wrote harish and i wrote here hyderabad i add okay i'll add more people like rajesh is from Mumbai and Aspen. Then I'll add one more like <clears throat> Mithilesh is from Chennai and Aspen. Now see what will happen. Now if I click on edit of the uh, edit for Harish and uh, so here what will happen when I click on edit you can see Harish and Hyderabad came here. When I click on edit of the Rajesh so Rajesh and Mumbai came here. When I click on edit of Mithilesh, maybe Mithilesh and Chennai is coming here. Okay, that is fine. So that functionality is working totally fine. Okay, now, now what I need to do is whenever I click on edit, this add student button should be hidden and save student button should again come. Okay. And initially what should happen the add student button should only be shown not the save student button so save student button will only be displayed when i click on edit button okay so what do what do i do for that so for that we'll be using the ng if directive okay ng if is a structural directive that helps us to show or hide uh, elements or uh, elements in our html according to a particular condition okay so we'll create a condition so conditions are nothing but um, some boolean flags okay so we'll put a boolean flag here so let's say we'll name it as show save button okay so save button is a boolean flag which we'll use to show or hide the buttons okay so initially it is false so what will happen so initially i want to show only the add student button isn't it so if the show save button is false only then i need to show the add student button isn't it so what i'll do is add student button is here i'll add a ng if here so and show it when it is false so not i'll use show save button 
Okay, so yeah. when it is false, it will show the as given button, and the same button will be shown when it is true. Okay, star ng if is equal to show save button. Okay, but so what should happen when it when this value will become true when I click on the edit button? Okay, when I click on the edit button, the show save button boolean flag should become true. Okay, so that functionality I need to write it in the edit button. So where is the edit button functionality? So here, what I need to do is when I click on the edit button, immediately in the beginning, what should I do? This dot show save button should become true. Okay. Okay, fine. So now let's see what happens. We save it, go to the browser. Now let me write Harish Hyderabad at Rajesh Chennai at. Now let's see. Now when I click on edit of Harish, Harish is coming here and add student button is hidden and save student is coming. Okay, so initially only the add student button is there, so, so uh, that save button is not there. Okay, you see this when I click on edit, add student is hidden, save student is coming. Okay, fine. Now that's fine. Now, now what we need to do is now the next thing we need to do is um, when I click on edit, these things are coming here. That is fine. Now I want to change it. I drop bar. Okay, I have edited and Hari instead of Harish, I want to write Harish. And now when I click on save student, what should happen? This data should be updated in the table. Okay. So for that, what do I do? So when I click on save button, I don't have the, have the index of the value. That means when I click on delete, I have the index because in delete, I'm passing the index here. Isn't it? Delete student. I'm taking the I from this let I in equal to index. When I click on edit again, I have the index. So I'm able to pass it, pass it to the method. But when I click on save student, this save student can't access this I because this I is inside this ng4. Okay. So what do I do for that? So for that, we need to create another variable here. So property, I'll create a property here. Let's say current index. Okay. Current index is of type. I'll put it as any. Okay. Current index is of type any. Now, when I click on the edit button immediately that current index should be set okay because when i click on edit student i have the index here isn't it so what i'll do is in the edit student i'll set the this dot current index is equal to index now i have the uh, index value in the current index so that index i can use it in our save functionality okay so let me write the save functionality what do i do in save functionality i create one object let student is equal to this and uh, same thing i need to use whatever i use for the add student otherwise there will be again conflict so this dot student name and this dot address so what is this dot student name this is the first input value and address is the uh, second input box value okay so that is done now we need to push this object to the array in that particular index wherever that is there so this dot students students of students of what the present index is current index so we have it in our this dot current index this dot current index is equal to what this whole student okay so we are not pushing it actually we are updating it at that particular index okay okay after doing this again the save button should be hidden and again that add student button should come okay so i'll just uh, change the flag this dot show save button is equal to again i'll make it false okay now let's save this go to the browser and let's check i write harish hyderabad add then rajesh pune add then some more name like priya Mumbai and okay now let's see whether our edit is working or not so edit it is working fine everything is working fine okay now I want to change this Harish HYD to Hyderabad okay I'll click on edit 
Harish and HYD have come. Now let me write the full address, Hyderabad, and I click on save. See, you can see here, HYD has changed to Hyderabad. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's it. That's it for this example. Right.